or my written down for years, and I've always had it titles as "You Suck, Dad." And uh, just recently, I was like, you know, I'm an adult now, so I titled the letters to my father. And That's girls, deep. You suck, Dad. <laughs> I'm 13 years old and I shaved for the first time yesterday. I have a couple of scars. Want to see? No one ever taught me how to hold a razor blade properly. Was I supposed to shave up and down or across? It's been a while. I was wondering if you ever found yourself. Did drinking your problems away work? Did you vomit your demons out? I only saw them drown you. I've grown up in a house looking for a reason why you would leave, trying to pick up the pieces you left behind, put together a heart you tore apart, Dad. I can't blame you. I have a pen and a journal. You had your cigarettes and cheap beer. We both want to rid ourselves of our mistakes. I spit mine on paper. You puke yours down and drain. I'm trying to find God in black ink, while you insist he lives at the bottom of a bottle, just like you. Maybe you're God. Maybe we're mistakes falling from the sky. Every tear I've seen from my mom might be proof that angels do cry. Dad, I couldn't take it anymore. I've realized that houses are built and homes are broken. I want to tell you about the white walls and sleep medication, how everyone looks at me like I'm sick. I'm tired of the pity. I wish I had your shoulder to lean on. I understand why you drank your nights away, but devils don't care how drunk you are, and angels have a way of disappearing when you need them most. Dad, I've never seen a picture of you holding us. I pretend to have stories of learning how to ride a bike. I tell myself you had your reasons for leaving, because I realize that this life isn't exactly perfect. Dad, I took the training wheels off myself, found a father on every pad on the back I got. Held your family on top of my shoulders, learn how to walk like a man. I'm glad you weren't around to teach me how to talk to a girl or hold the door open. You'll never know about my first love and the way she made me feel like I was drunk off my ass. I always insist on paying for dinner, hoping it will make up for all the evenings my mom sat at home alone. I'll make sure my kids know me. And when they ask about their grandpa, I'll tell them that some superheroes die too. But just like you, I'm starting to break. Maybe you had the right idea. Maybe I'll find God at the bottom of a bottle because he, even he has his own demons. Dad, I'm 19 years old now, and I still don't have this shaking thing down. <laughs> I'm actually going to be 20 next Sunday and I still don't know how to shave. It's <laughs> cool. All right, good. Can't be a Jose feature without a poem about Tucson. I was born and raised in the city of South Tucson. I become slave to the cacti and roadrunners of this land where the dirt is brown, where the food is brown, where the people are brown. I feel like I could die here, burning with the soul of a city lost between Mexico and something that would never be. I'm from, holes in the, I'm from holes in the road no amount of sand can fill, from holes in pockets of blue jeans filled with nothing but sand. I'm from where rosaries hang around necks, praying hands are tattooed on arms and crosses are carried on shoulders. In my city, we hold our breaths when we see cops, even when we've done nothing wrong because it's our breath to take and not theirs. Where I'm from, being brown is a crime. Driving down the street gets you deported here. We're taught to look at the rearview mirror more often than we look at the road in front of us. Yo soy de manos abiertas y puertas cerradas de la sexta avenida de la ciudad donde los cholos son niños estudiantes y los estudiantes son sueñadores y los sueñadores son sueños. I'm from open hands and closed doors. From 6th Ave. From the city where gangsters are students and students are dreamers and dreamers are dreams. In my city, dreaming is all we have. It doesn't rain much here. But when it does, we live for the storm, not the rainbows. This is the city of dirt, and maybe that's all we'll ever be. 
This is the city of South Tucson, where hot toqueros wear Starbucks aprons, so no more hot dogs are assimilated, where we start a conversation with, you speak Spanish? A city where no one assumes you speak Spanish, they just really, really, really hope you do. A, ho a home built on calloused hands, the land of opportunity, South Tucson, where brown boys ride low, where there's a liquor store on every corner, where people who look like cacti wave hello as you drive past them, dreaming of the day they can leave, hoping when they come back this city will be everything it wants to. Tucson. You've made me slave to your crack black streets, to your heat, to your defiance of what Arizona wants from you and you won't give. I'm proud to say I'm from the city of dirt, the city of dreams, the city of South Tucson. <laughs>